Alright guys, I got, I got the ammo, so now I can do it. So first, this is the... What is this? It's not the nailer, it's the rider. Right here. Right? There's also a gearbox weapon. That gearbox gives you... I think it's from a shift code, but I just got it from gear calculator, so... Oh, and by the way, I'm, I'm trying to shoot as fast as possible. It's semi-automatic. So, next one. This is the HX500C Combustion Hellfire. 313 damage. Extremely good. It's really a thumper, so I can do one shot. Just fire and everything. Next, this is Sledge's Shotgun, highest level, red text. Everything I have is red text. Is that right? Yeah. Alright, now the next one. This is... The Nailer. Alright. Also, I think... No, it is not. It's not a gearbox weapon. Yeah. Next, I have... My Revolvers. Alright, so first one. Corrosive. Each I have two ammo in. Next is explosive. This one's incendiary. This one's shot. See? Corrosive, explosive, incendiary, and shot. Alright, so next let's do that one. That one. That one, and that one. Alright, so this is the Bulldog one. See? It's TK's wave only. Bulldog five. Yeah, like, little bubbles will float if you shoot up. Anyway, it has 20 ammo because of the Bulldog thing, so I can like, shoot crazily. So, yeah, that's the. All that, you bulldog. And then, this is just a Savage Unforgiven 7x486 revolver. And then, this is a sniper rifle. Bam. Burst of flame. The Coblat Volcano. And that's the next is the Fearsome Skull Masher. Just normal Jacob's weapon. So yeah, that's all of them. So now let's go kill some enemies with these. So at first I'm on day through two, so that one is that one. Let's treat that out for Oh wait, oops. Coblet Volcano, which we got that. Next is the flame one. Boom. Alright. Revolver. Okay. Alright, so I'm just gonna try out the corrosive one for this. Cause I don't wanna go through every single revolver. Anyway, yeah. And then... Sledge's shotgun. Trade that one out for that one. So this is corrosive. 
Next one is Sledgy Shotgun. Alright, so let's swap out. No, let's do one more with Sledgy Shotgun. Personally, Sledgy Shotgun I think is pretty cool. So next, let's try the Nailer. Then the Rider. And then, if we still have time, we'll try out all the revolvers. Let's see, this shoots fast, but doesn't do all that much damage. Oh, and when people attack me, they take fire damage. So next... Okay, so right now I'm the Siren. Pretty sure it's only from melee attacks. So anyway, bam. So then, next let's use straight up that one. Bam! Whoa, that was crazy sick. Alright, and this one is explosive. Bam! And this one is incendiary. Whoa, what, what just happened? Alright, that's all those weapons. Now it's time to use this on somebody. Alright, now let's try fully automatic. Alright, is there somebody else anywhere? There we go. It's kind of laggy at times with that gun, but still it's cool. Yeah, it's good. So yeah, I guess you saw all of the weapons now. So now I'll get back to my personal favorites. My personal favorites are... Um... Probably Savage Unforgiven, Sledge's Shotgun, because it shoots so fast, and wait, what nailer is that? It's a normal nailer. Yeah, the normal nailer, and yep, the Combustion Hellfire. Oh, and my other one is Shock, the Shock Revolver. And Cobblad Volcano a little, but it's too weak against most guys, so, yeah. So yeah, I can just walk up to enemies with this and pow. Oh, and in the second playthrough, there are crazy enemies everywhere. Of course, I defeated most of the enemies here, so there's... Not gonna be any, but there was crazy amounts of it. And in playthrough three, which I will probably, which I will do a video on probably. Um, I'm just gonna say it's gonna be really hard because right now I'm having trouble. And at the beginning, I had no shield and everything because I don't have the um, what's it called, the General Noxus secret armory. I don't have it. But, to use his shield, oh wait, not that one, another one, um, I need General Knox's secret armory. 
And I have another one, his name is Brick, the character Brick. He has the, the bone shredder, the one that that one guy gets. Um, yeah, the bone shredder. But I have it as a level 61 and as hot, as powerful as possible with highest magazine power. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the nailer is my favorite weapon. Because right now you can just blow through enemies. And then Sluggy Shotgun is my second. Because when, before I figured all of this, how to do this all and everything, and how to make it like this, and basically cheat and everything, I haven't figured, I never figured out how to do that. So once I finally defeated Sledge, that shotgun was like crazy amazing. And what I would do is, is it's basically going to ruin the whole game if you just make it to where you have every single weapon possible, plus you make all different kinds of shields, and then you just go and, um, and if you just go and say you complete the whole entire game, that's boring, guys, don't do that. Oh yeah, I was gonna make the launcher, but then I got um didn't have enough time and everything, so I just quickly did it, and I kind of forgot too. But yeah, but um, once I'm playing in the third playthrough. Hopefully once I defeat some guys or second playthrough, hopefully I'll get some really good rocket launchers because there are some really good rocket launchers in this game. Like I made a cool sanitary one, but like I said, oh and that's also why I love this gun so much, because of the spike at the end. But also guys, like I said, my data got corrupted and I was exiting right as it said, do not turn off your console or exit out. So, I'm just happy that's the only thing that got corrupted. Not anything else, but still. It still sucks. But anyway, make sure to check out my cousin's um, YouTube dancing, dancing cowgirl 13, I think it is. D-A-N-C-I-N-C-O-W-G-I-R-L-1-3. Anyway, yeah, guys, like, tell me what other videos you want in the comments, or, yeah. Because right now I've made such an overpowered character. But... The only light on fire is um, someone melee attacks me, and all the weapons here are probably going to be way worse. Actually, they are going to be way worse than what I have. Probably on playthrough three, since they're all going to be like 69s, I think, or 61s. Anyway, that's going to be the the one where. I will be able to get really good weapons and find them because I don't think they give you every single weapon like in the game that has been made. Like they gave me the um the what's it called? The nailer and the rider, but a, and a couple others down at the bottom. I don't think they give you everything. Oh, trust me, I'm teched up enough. Yeah, guys, because...
The only annoying part about Borderlands 1 is what's girl power supposed to be? I don't even get that what, what that's supposed to be. But yeah, guys, I'm sorry I can't um, record it from the TV. It's because I have a sub account, so it won't allow me to do it. Otherwise, it would. It's on my Xbox. Show you down at my on um, Baba's, so I can definitely do it for you guys. Down there. I'm telling you guys, Slippy Shotgun, one of the best things. Same with the Nailer, because it's like really powerful. Slippy Shotgun, too. It's powerful and strong, but I give thanks to Willow Tree and Borderlands Gear Calculator. Oh, the sign like morphed into his legs. But anyway, yeah, guys, like, see, sucks, but it. Good to sell because you can get a head higher than 999 million dollars what I have down there at the very bottom but it just won't show it it's just like when you buy stuff it just won't go down see all these weapons the stronger the weapon the more glowy it'll look the only complaint I ever had was Borderlands the pre-sequel. You only, I only got up to like level 25 at the end of the game. So it's like, why would they do that? They, it was like a DLC. It's hardly even a game in it and everything. And it's like, I don't, if there's anything, if you guys find anything to mod, or get modded weapons in Borderlands 2 or the pre-sequel. Tell me, because I really want to find it. I'll, I'll keep looking, but I haven't found anything yet. Yeah. Oh, now I want to really fight Sledge. Because I remember Sledge, he was like, heck of hard, but with these weapons, you'd probably be easy. And Sledge's shotgun is really good. Awesome, actually. This mind blowing. The one that I never really understood, they say, um, when Claptrap yells out at the, at Firestone, that place, when he yells out that, now the people of Firestone, you are safe, everything, only Zed comes out when Claptrap yells out, the people, um, and don't be alarmed. People of Firestone, you are all safe. Only Zed comes out. Shouldn't there be like, you know, at least a couple more people, not just Zed? That's it. It's like, and then you see that dead body in front of him. It's like, did he kill that guy or what happened? It's like, I don't even know. And then you meet TK Baja, and it's like, um. Anyway, yeah. He's like, I will tell you, I'm not going to spoil what happens, but I've beat this game, but towards the end of the game, when I beat it on the first playthrough, I was like 45 on my Xbox, anyway. But anyway, um, when you beat this game, something, well actually no, I think it's once you get to New Haven, yeah, you get a mission to go check up on TK Baja, something happens to him. And it's not exactly very pretty. And 
and TK Baja. Why do you have your hand right there? Wait, can I shoot you there? Oh. I can't jump when doing this. Man, phase lock. Not cool. Yeah, I don't really like how it's like your waypoint is down at the bottom. But what's cool is that I actually figured out how to get modded weapons on this and I wanted to make I wanted to make a thing for the video because all the other videos I saw were like five years old and all of that. So I saw it and thought, hmm, I should make a video on it, and I just saw a video on Willow Tree, and my Bob and I, we got together and thought, we should make something like that, and then we made it, because, and then we used it, all you need is USB, and it's super simple. Yeah, I got the elephant gun. Man, I remember like every part of this story and then the end with the vault. Oh, the catch a ride system. Okay, let's just go check up on TK Baja and then yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I'm pretty sure once you get to New Haven, you see. Um. You see the mission. Pretty sure it's from that one lady who shows you to it. Like, Mare or something. Anyway, I just want to quickly get through this whole campaign. I don't want to, you know, go by and have to take a while on it because I want to get to play through three and then, then I'll take a while because then it's going to be really challenging, but I'll have a good ton of guns and everything. Because I played play through one, it was way too easy. I... I was seriously doing nothing and people were dying because they were meleeing me or I had a shield where anybody who attacked me had a chance where they would get damaged a lot. You. I got something for you too. Alright. I don't know why, but it'll glitch sometimes in this or something. It won't reload. You'll be pressing R, well, for PlayStation, you'll be pressing R2, and it just won't reload. Alright, I'm gonna use Sledge's shotgun. No, wait. Yeah, Sledge's shotgun. And I'm gonna see how fast I kill him. Because last time I used a sniper rifle, it was pretty easy. Let's see, bone shredder. But anyway, yeah, guys, the bone shredder. I made that a level 61, which is the highest level gun you can make, and then. Damn, it was really good.
and but I will tell you Borderlands 2 I'm a Gunzerker. Anyway guys, yeah.